My name is Chelsea Costanza. I graduated from the Manship School in Advertising in December of 2012. I work for 89.3 WRKF and my official title is Underwriting Representative. So I chose advertising after watching a Mel Gibson and Helen Hunt movie called What Women Want. Uh, there's a pitch where they talk to Nike and the name of the pitch is No Games, Just Sports. And I watched it as a high school senior and thought, I could probably do that. And then got really lucky that when I got into the program at Manship, I ended up actually enjoying it. It was really interesting. I learned a lot of things here. Um, the things that I use daily would probably be the critical thinking skills that it takes to put together um, a media plan. So in, in the media planning class, you learn SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. I use that every single day because I'm in outside sales. So in order to sell to a company, I have to understand what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses, who's their competition, um, do they have a branding issue, do they just need to remind people that they're there. I have to have a really comprehensive understanding of what their advertising strategy has been in the past and what they want to get out of it in the future. So classes like that and the basic fundamentals of just putting together an advertising plan has been hugely helpful in this position because I'm selling not only directly to the client but also sometimes to agencies. So the jargon, like you know, average quarter hour, time spent listening, cum, all of that not only helps me to put together a plan that's easy to say yes to if I'm going directly to the client, but it also makes it way easier for agencies to work with us because they don't have to explain to me what AQH is. I already know because I went through all these classes. Um, that I use every single day would probably be the biggest. And then um, media law <laughs> was a class that I did not do well in at all. Um, but I, in preparing for today, I looked and said which classes made the most impact. That one made the most impact in what I do today because I had to decide if I wanted to go through this program <laughs> at that class. I just, for whatever reason, it was just the one that I really struggled with. Um, so I had to dig in. But it ended up teaching me how to persevere and how to develop that character trait where you just have to keep going. And in outside sales, you have to just keep going because if you don't do it, no one else is going to do it for you. Um, I'm strictly commissioned, so I'm the only one pushing this train. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking back, that started with that class. Um, lastly, I think campaigns taught me how to react to who I'm selling to um, and sell in such a way that they would be able to accept what I'm saying. So that taught me to pay attention to people's tone, their body language, and how they like to be talked to. Um, because in sales, if you come at them hard and they are kind of shy, it's just, or vice versa, it just isn't as easy of a process. I had two internships while I was here. One was through a class, um, and we ended up selling. We had to put together something for Lamar and had to present it to the Lamar executives, and I sold in that. And if I would have been paying attention, I would have noticed that's the most fun that I ever had in a class project. Um, and then the other one I had was with an ad agency, which I thought was the end all be all, uh, so I didn't really expose myself to different things. So I would say take as many internships as you can, get your agency tour out of the way before you graduate, and with each job you're going to learn something about the industry and you're going to learn something about yourself that you can take to each new position and you'll kind of fine tune where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are. Um, so do more and then adopt a professor, <laughs> so just seek out someone and say, I need help and find someone that's smarter than you that you connect with and, and you know, let them guide you because there are so many resources here that I didn't use um, that could be really beneficial moving forward.